All right, it's Friday. Thought I would do a review. This is going to be about uh, Game of Death Replica Nunchaku and Game of Death Sneakers. So, this pair of Nunchakus is uh, handmade from Japan. This is by far the most accurate pair of Replica Nunchakus for Game of Death that you're going to find. I have a pair from the Hong Kong Bruce Lee Club from the early 2000s, and they're not accurate at all. They're like orange yellow when they should be bright yellow. They're, they're too skinny, they're too short. The stitching is wrong, the tailoring is wrong, just everything about them is wrong. Uh, a lot of the ones from China are just not accurate. Then you have the ones from the past, the uh, 1970s plastic ones, of course those are not accurate. And then you have some modern day wood ones, like I had a pair of wood ones and they were like an orange yellow instead of a bright yellow. Um, they're not made of wood, I mean Bruce's real nunchaku that he used in the film was not wood. They were padded. And they were glossy, and then they were about exactly like the same size as these. Same thickness, everything. The thong in the center should be orange yellow like these. And then Chucku should be uh, bright yellow. And underneath, you see how it's rounded right there? It should be just like that, round with six stitch lines on the bottom. His had a fabric that was stitched, and then on the side you see one big line. Like that, one big stitch line. Um, these are like the most perfect that you're getting closest you're going to get to the real ones um, currently only thing I would point out is this little hole can be a little closer to the thong um, other than that yeah I've seen some wood pairs that just have an ugly big hole around there like that just totally not accurate and they're not even wood I mean so, yeah, these ones are by far the best. You're not going to get any better than, than these ones as of right now. Um, and then we'll go on to the shoes. So, these are the replica shoes. Um, Bruce had his made. They were custom made to look like Onitsuka Tigers. He loved Onitsuka Tigers. He loved the feel of them and the look. So, he made the, these. Look, he made his uh, custom Game of Death sneakers to look like Onitsuka Tigers. I'm going to point out that these are orange yellow. The real ones were a bright yellow, like the nunchaku. And the real ones were not part, like, see how that's kind of leather? It's like a fake leather. And then right here is like a cloth material. The real ones were bright yellow, and they were all leather. And they had the black stripes, of course. Um, also, the ones on Game of Death, the real ones, right here in this round area, was a lot wider. And this part right here the, of the toe guard, this part was shorter it came to about right here on bruce's so uh, that's the difference on that on his and onitsuka tigers also had this type of stripe with two stripes not three bruce added the third stripe uh to make his different so um not sure why they did bright yellow shoes bright yellow nunchaku with the orange yellow tracksuit but that's the the way it went what's cool about this pair of nunchakus it comes with a leather like bag like bruce had in the movie with two strings on the side, and you open up, it's white inside, and the nunchaku goes inside. These are the ultimate Game of Death nunchakus. Not none of these other ones that are being made. These pair right here. Until somebody makes a better one, this one's the best. Um, and that's it for this review. Just want to do a short review. It's Friday, and I haven't reviewed these yet. And a lot of people uh, have been asking about nunchakus on my um, YouTube channel, about the about this pair. So I thought I would fill you guys in and finally do a review on these. All right. So that's it. Thank you.